Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be filming a 2017 um, favorites video. And um, all of this stuff is stuff that worked for me, but you know, I understand that makeup doesn't always work the same on everyone. So everyone is entitled to their own opinions, but um, this is makeup that just I fell in love with. Um, this year and I hope you guys like my video and I can inform you guys on some of these products to get started um, also one thing I want to mention is that a lot of these products may not necessarily be new to the market but they are, were introduced to me this year um, just to clear that out so I'll just start off with foundation um, I started using the MAC um, Studio Fix Fluid Foundation this year, and I freaking love this thing. Um, I feel like it has really great coverage, and it's a very buildable foundation. And um, for me, the coverage um, on this foundation is really amazing. I feel like um, if you want, like, an everyday kind of look you can definitely use this foundation every day but if you want to build it up um, you can just apply a little bit more and it'll definitely um, build up the coverage it's really amazing um, and then my other favorite for foundation is the wet n wild photo focus foundation this thing is currently my favorite foundation it is amazing it is only like I think like seven dollars at Walmart the price is amazing the formula is amazing it does have a little bit of a, a smell like a scent to it like a I would say like a like a paint kind of scent but once you get over that um, the foundation works amazing <sighs> I love this thing. Um, so, m moving on to the um, concealers. I started using the Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline Concealer this year. I have gone through these so much. I This is what, maybe like my second or third tube this year. This thing is amazing. Um... It's, I've heard that it's a, um, a dupe for the Shape Tape Concealer, but I'm not sure because I've never used it before. Um, but, yeah. Um, so, moving on to powders. I tried the um, Kat Von D um, Locket setting, Translucent Setting Powder this year. This thing is really good. I feel like... Um, for me, um, it doesn't, like, get into my skin to where it makes me look super, like, like, cracked and stuff. I really, really love this powder. Um, I really recommend it, too. Um, I think it, it, it really just, it's a really good tra translucent powder. For setting sprays, I tried, this year, I tried the Kat Von D. Lock it um, setting spray. This thing is amazing as well. It um, has really helped with my um, makeup lasting longer. And you know, I work 10 hour shifts every day, so it definitely um, I've noticed that it's helped around like my nose area and then um, like right here. I've noticed that normally by the end of the day, that area. My makeup is just gone, but using the setting spray, it's helped it last a lot longer. And I bought this little sample for the MAC um, Prep and Prime Fix Plus. I will be purchasing the um, the bigger bottle um, as soon as I run out of this. This thing is seriously amazing too. I use it to prep my skin um, before I start putting my foundation on and it just helps my skin feel very refreshed and I apply it with the locket setting spray as well too and it 
I, I really like how it just makes my skin feel super refreshed, like I said. Um, it, overall, um, I think they're just really good setting sprays. And moving on to um, mascara and um, eyeliner, I tried the... Um, the Neutrogena Healthy Length Mascara. Um, I really, really like this mascara because um, I feel like um, it doesn't feel super like heavy on my lashes. Like I feel like it just makes them look more nourished and like it's kind of hard to describe, um, but. Um, yeah, and then I have tried the Physician's Formula, um, the Physician's Formula Eyeliner. This thing, for me, it, it's worked really great. Um, I have really hooded eyes, so sometimes it takes me a little bit longer to put my eyeliner on. And uh, all the other, um, eyeliners that I've used, the... The pen ones, they just dry out really fast, and um, I have to wait a little bit longer because, you know, I'm, I'm shaking them up and trying to get the, the product to come out. But this one, it doesn't dry out on me, and it glides on smoothly. I don't have any issues with it. It does what I want it to do, and um, it stays on um, a long time. But okay, so moving on to um, highlighters, I have the um, NYX Illuminator. This thing is my holy grail um, highlighter. It's so beautiful, um, and. I believe the range, the price range for this highlighter is between ten to thirteen dollars. I'm not exactly sure, but I put everything down below in the description box. I I seriously love this thing. I wear it every day. It's really good overall. Um, I've been trying a lot of the NYX products, and they're really affordable. Um, and it's it's just amazing. I definitely recommend you guys trying this highlighter. Um, and then this one I I just got. I don't know how to pronounce the um, the name of the brand, but it's a very pretty highlighter. This one's a um, a more high end highlighter because this one was around thirty bucks, like thirty three. I believe but um, very pretty and I'm wearing it on my skin right now and I bought this um, rose highlight collection by bad habit um, I got this off of the hush app um, this thing is only was only ten dollars and it is freaking amazing for ten dollars I love this thing um, it's a bit, it's a bit more powdery, I would say, but if you're like me and you're on a budget, I definitely recommend it. Um, so, moving on to bronzers, I tried the, um, Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer this year. This thing is amazing, oh my gosh, it smells really good too, it's like, um, like a tropical coconut kind of smell this thing oh and I I keep making my nose is a, a little runny still because I was sick um so please excuse that um but this this butter bronzer is seriously amazing it is a product that I'm wearing on my skin right now along with the um the tart tart tarteus pro glow to go in the shade um chisel this thing is my favorite contour um, powder. Oh my gosh, I have 
hit pan on it and I plan on sorry I plan on purchasing it again this thing is amazing and um, I believe it was twenty dollars or so um, it's really awesome I really 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 love this it's very beginner friendly if you're someone that's barely getting into makeup and learning how to contour I definitely recommend using this one it's a um, it's very beginner friendly like I said and um, yeah <laughs> so moving on to eyeshadows I purchased the um, Aphrodite by Bad Habit um, palette off of the um, the Hush app as well it was I believe ten dollars this thing is freaking amazing the pigments on this um, on this palette is seriously insane like look at this for ten dollars you guys ten dollars that is amazing I, f I really 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 love this palette um, I also purchased the um, Naked Urban Decay Heat Palette this year. Ooh. Ooh. This thing, this palette here, was also one of my favorites this year. Um, this one was, I believe, like forty-five is what I normally see their palettes retail for um, so moving on to lipsticks I really 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 loved the um, Revlon Ultra HD matte um, lip color um, liquid, li liquid lipstick line this year I have um, I have five of them, and they are seriously amazing. They are so creamy, and um, a lot of matte liquid lipsticks. I've noticed that they dry my lips and they make it look sort of cracked and like 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 ch like chapped, but these lipsticks do not do that for my lips even though they are matte they they are very creamy and soft and overall I just really recommend um, I really recommend these my favorite shade is the shade um, seduction it's a perfect nude for me in, in my opinion um, I also have um, the shade this lipstick by Anastasia Beverly Hills I have the shade um, staunch very very um, beautiful shade very creamy lipstick as well and it's very um, durable and I purchased this um, sugar lip scrub I purchased like four of these from the hush app as well these are only a dollar and they are amazing um it's not it's like the lip scrub isn't really um tough on your lips so that's one thing i really really like about it and plus they taste amazing you're not supposed to eat them but like you know stuff happens so um for my brows, I have the, um, uh -huh. where is it? Okay, so for my brows, I have the Archery 2-in-1 Brow by Soap and Glory in the shade, um, what shade is this? Um, Brown and Out. And I really, really love, like, the way that their, um, 
pencil is shaped because I feel like it it really helps me um, shape out my eyebrows and it's just amazing and um, on top of the um, the brow pencil I go in with this um, this brow stylist um, prep and shape pro kit by L'Oreal um, I've used it so much that the um, the name has faded off here and I use it in the shade what shade is this medium to dark um, for my brows I really really love the powder I mean any eyeshadow would would do for your um, brows but I feel like this gives this really gives me that effect that I'm going for and um, it just it makes my brows look really nice in my personal opinion and it's not really chalky I've tried um, I've tried certain brow products where um, the the brow um, the powder the brow powder will get like stuck in like certain areas and um, this one does not and I really really love that so um, yeah that is all for my 2017 favorite I hope you guys enjoyed my video and um, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and if you guys have any um, any video tutorials you guys want to see or or just whatever um, you guys would like to recommend um, is greatly appreciated uh, but um, yeah bye